Hey, what's going on everybody? So, just in case you guys are wondering, this is how I dress to work. <laughs> and, um, I don't think I've ever done a video where I'm, I'm actually dressed the way I actually go to work. You all normally see me, um, in a white shirt or one of my t-shirts and some pants or shorts, whatever. But, I do dress, uh, presentable when I go to, uh, when I go to work. I, sh I have my good watch, um my tight clip and everything so um, yeah so just so you all know I don't look like that when I go to work um, anyway so this video is really gonna be oh and I just noticed that I had autofocus turned on so this video I just kinda sporadically thought I would throw it out there only because I was driving home from work I took I decided to take a long route and I just had a lot of time to think about how far I've come in my CCIE journey. It's been a little bit over three months that I've started my CCIE and I you know there's been times in there when I was just like man I just feel absolutely overwhelmed with the breadth of information that there is and how much in depth each topic goes into like every little thing. Um, I face that a lot with BGP I'm still facing it with BGP and um, now that I'm over with MPLS, it's a little bit simpler. I, I, I really think that I'm grasping the concept of MPLS. Right now I'm working on PE to CE routing um, in MPLS and VRFs. That's what I'm what I'm working on now. Um, excuse me, I'm, I'm feeling a little, a little sick today. Um, but yeah, I just kind of, today's Friday and I got home and I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a break today. I'm just gonna make a video uh, about whatever I want and just talk about my progress. I'm just gonna sit back, play a video game, and just see uh, what happens. So I just wanna, you know, relax today. I've already studied my. Uh, uh, I studied three days this week for six hours each, so I've already done that. I'll be back uh, working on MPLS tomorrow and Sunday as well. So it's not like I'm taking a long break, but today's Friday. I decided I'm gonna take a break from studying just for the night and just relaxing. And um, you know, I, I sit back and I look at the amount of progress that I've made, and it, it's just crazy. I, I honestly didn't think that I would ever be getting this far. Um, I I don't know. Like I know I have a um, I'm very disciplined. And when I say I'm going to do something, I just get to it, and I, I just don't quit. I don't quit. And I, I don't plan on ever quitting on the CCIE until I, until I attain it. Um, so, you know, it, it's just so much hard work. And I, I think that's something that a lot of people um, really need to understand, is that when you go about getting the certifications, there's absolutely no shortcut for hard hard work and I mean hard work and you know I, I get a lot of emails about you know I need to do this real quick I need to get certified uh, I've been at help desk I want to move up you know you think I can pass it like in 30 days Th those kind of questions and I you know and I answer the questions as best as possible most of the time I put in there that you should be able to finish it within X amount of time but that's only based off of what I can do or what I have done you know it doesn't by any means uh, by any means mean that you are um, gonna be ready in that time or are you gonna be an expert or whatever the case is it you know it's just you just have to learn about the topics you have to know the theory behind it and you have to know how to configure it and you, you need to know how to troubleshoot it inside and out show commands debugs you, you just gotta understand it back to front it is not enough to just work in a network on a day-to-day -day basis and expect to pass any Cisco exam at all I would say even um, maybe not CSEN maybe you can get through CSEN uh, without having to study just working on it but and once again to CCNA CCMP topics you really have to study for the exam 
because some of the stuff you may not work on a daily basis some of the stuff you may work on a daily basis but you really don't understand the theory and you don't understand how it really really works and that's what Cisco is trying to do with these exams is are you actually an expert or are you actually a professional or associate in these topic domains of whatever specific exam that you're doing you cannot pass these exams without being ready for the exam doesn't mean you're not good at Cisco doesn't mean you're not good at your job it just means that you didn't pass the exam and a lot of people say well you know I really don't need the certifications and you know honestly maybe you don't maybe you don't need the certifications because you got the real world experience and that's great um, you know but the certification just kinda it enhances your resume and it makes you more marketable uh, and then you don't you can't forget about all the Cisco partnerships a lot of people are looking for certified people uh, to bring on board to save some money on equipment so there is absolutely no substitute for hard work you need to read you gotta build your lab you gotta make your lab you gotta do something to get hands-on experience while you're watching whatever videos while you're listening to whatever and you gotta find people that are motivating to you uh, to me it was uh, Kyle Kyle Martin some of you all might know him I, I found his channel many years ago when I first started college and I remember him going through his CCNA days and he was saying you know the CCNA is no joke of an exam and when I heard that um, I was very vaguely familiar with what Cisco was and you know um, honestly I, I was familiar with networking but as far as like Cisco and exactly what the exams entailed I honestly had no clue and when you know I was thinking to myself how hard can this exam be is this one exam now, I have to take exams like every every month or so for multiple classes <clears throat> I couldn't have been more more wrong I mean it's just these exams are very difficult and you just have to put in the time if you put in the time you put in the effort you will get things done so anyway so I was talking about Kyle and he really uh, w once I was in my last year of college I said you know what I gotta study for this stuff because I want to be certified in something for maybe about a month I wanted to get in certified in Microsoft I tried it out I, I honestly just didn't enjoy it so I said you know what I heard a co-worker talking about Cisco because um, I used to work for a small consulting company and I had a friend um, a friend and a co-worker of mine uh, taking local classes about Cisco and he was like you know getting CCNA is, is difficult I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. And yes, it was difficult, but now that I've accomplished that, I look back upon it and I think to myself, you know, that actually really wasn't as difficult as people make it seem. You just have to put in the work, and that's what people just don't want to do sometimes. A lot of people want things to come to them easily. They, they want to be spoon-fed, um they don't really want to learn and if you don't want to learn quite honestly this just isn't the right uh, market for you it's not the right career for you you need to find something that you're truly passionate about and I got lucky I, I honestly I found it with Cisco I, I love routing and switching security voice wireless right now I'm really big on wireless at work and I, I'm really enjoying it at this point so maybe I might uh, you know, go into the wireless track on CCNA, but I am not even going to mess with that until um, after my CCIE. But uh, I know I keep on saying that. Again, no substitute for hard work. Work hard. Dig your head in the books. Learn the theory. And you have to know how to explain it to other people. That is one of the biggest reasons why I started this YouTube channel. Um, if you go back to my very first uh, CCNA video or CSENT video, uh, my first video regarding Cisco at all, it is still to this day my most watched video. And honestly, I just did it out of the blue. I said, you know what? 
I'm going to make this video explain to other people how to initially configure a switch. For Cisco, I put it up online. I did not expect it to get not even half as many views as it has now. And right now to this day, it's still my most, most watched video. And it's not because it's my oldest. It's my most, most watched video per month. And I, I haven't been able to make another video like that for a long time. Because now I'm focusing specifically on you know the the technologies, my experiences. So I haven't really done a, a very concise overview. But when you really think about it, you think about what people are Google searching. A lot of them just want to know how to get things up real quick. You know, they want the easy way. So looking back, I see the video and I'm like, hey, well that was nice that I did that for myself. But now a lot of people are just kind of going to the video to refer just how to do a very basic config and then I guarantee you that a lot of them stop there and they don't bother to go any further and for some people that's fine if that's what you do from time to time um, if you just need something real quick that's perfectly okay but you can't expect to be a CCNA or a CSEN just based off of that knowledge knowing how to configure a switch uh, so yeah it's just uh, the, the mentality that if it's not easy to attain then it might not be worth getting I'm telling you if you like Cisco if you like the technology it is worth getting the certification so anyways um, that was my video for the day I just wanted to you know do this uh, for a change because I know I haven't made a video in a long time because I've been really busy studying and stuff but I'll try to put more motivational videos and get back to making a few I don't want to promise too much but to making a few technology videos and maybe even rebooting up my um, my CSET course now that I have my uh, my, my new lab set up here um, but again it's time constraints <laughs> time constraints so uh, be patient uh, in the meanwhile if you guys have questions about any particular technology in general just leave them in the comments I'll go through them read them and I'll explain the technologies or whatever question that you you have questions about in a short video. Um, so, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all next time.